All right, so today we're trying to look at the very best way you can use your PWM to get you the very best of performance. It's very important because there's been this talk about, oh, go for MPPT. If you want to get the very best of performance, it has to be an MPPT. I don't agree. As long as you know exactly what you can do, because it's all about knowing exactly how to use the PWM, you'll be able to get the very best of performance. Trust me on this. Okay, PWM can do quite a decent job, but you need to be able to make the right choices, to be able to do the right things, to be able to know how you can use it to get the very best of performance. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, now will be a good time for you to do that, all right? We are so anxiously waiting to make you a member of this community, all right? Don't forget, once you subscribe, as soon as we have fresh and brand new videos, which actually happens every single week, you'll be the very first to know, all right? The more you subscribe, the more we can reach out to more people who also need this information. So it's important. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, please kindly help us do, all right? Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. Let's get to it. How best can you get this guy to do a decent job, to do a very good job for you in your solar system? It mustn't be all about MPPT all the time. You just need to know exactly how you can get the very best of performance out of the PWM. You just need to know the right things to do. You need to watch this video to the very end to really understand how you can connect the PWM and it gives you a very good energy performance. So you see, you can still buy a charge controller that is affordable and yet get the very best of performance. Okay, so let's get into it. How best exactly can you use the PWM to get the very best of performance in your solar system? All right, you basically already know that the PWM doesn't have the ability to reduce the volume and increase the current just like the MPPT does, right? So if it doesn't have that ability to be able to step down the voltage and increase the current, so what are you going to do to be able to get that very best performance out of this guy? So you already know that for you to use a PWM, your battery and your solar panel definitely have to match or closely match. So the voltage you're going to choose for your solar panel has to be very close to that of your battery. It's very important that you get this right. Okay, so you can go buying very high wattage solar panels. It's, it's going to come with very high voltage, something in the neighborhood of 42 volts, which is going to be way too high for your battery. So it's not going to work. You're going to lose a lot of voltage and that is going to make a mess of the value that you've put in the amount of money you've spent buying um, that amount of solar panels. So what you're going to do is that you're going to choose the voltage that is very close to that of your battery bank. So if your system is a 12 volt system, you should be going for a hundred watt solar panels. So the VMP of a hundred watt solar panels should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 17.8 um, volts. That's the maximum output voltage that you're going to be getting out of that solar panel. And of course the VOC, which it is going to be around 28.1 thereabout so it's quite ideal for your 12 volt system it's going to make it function well and of course you're not also losing a lot of energy what you basically need to charge your 12 volt system is 13 volts or max 14 volts all right so why do you want to go buy very high wattage solar panel something in the neighborhood of 250 watts 350 watts 400 watts you're going to be losing a lot of energy because those solar panels are going to be coming with uh, a VMP of like 42 volts, which is just a waste of money, all right? It's, it's just not going to justify the amount of money you've spent buying that solar panel because you're going to be losing a lot of voltage because the PWM does not have that ability to step down the voltage and increase the current just like an MPPT would. So we're trying to find out the very best way to walk around it to ensure that we still get the optimal performance from your PWM. So the PWM is really cool. All right, but you just need to know exactly how you're going to use it. So if your system is a 24 volt system, it's still cool. OK, you can still use the PWM and get an optimal performance out of those solar panels, out of those battery systems, get it all fired up, get it all to work perfectly. Your systems will work the way they should with a PWM. 
So now, if you're using a 24 volt system, you're definitely going to be using a 200 watt solar panel. The VMP of the 200 watt solar panel, which is your maximum voltage output, should be around 28 volts. Is the VOC should be around 36 volts, and this is quite close to your 24 volt system. All right, so this is what you should do. So now you know that if you have a 12 volt system, you should be going for a 100 watt solar panel because of the low voltage. And if you also have a 24 volt solar system, you should be going for a 200 watt solar panel. But if your system is a 48 volt system, it's still cool. You can see use the PWM. So the PWM can handle the 12 volt system. It can handle the 24 volt system. It can also handle nicely the 48 volt system. You just need to know what to do. But at this point, you'll definitely have to double up the solar panels in series, all right, to be able to push up the voltage. So you're gonna be doing a two in series connection for your PWM. So with a 48 volt system, you'll definitely have to do two in series connection, all right? So you can go for a 250 watt solar panel, you can go for a 300 watt solar panel, that's okay, but you definitely have to do uh, two in series, okay? So you have to connect the solar panels in series, then you begin to parallel the solar panels, you know, all the way down. All right, so that's definitely what you have to do because the voltage of a single solar panel might make it very, 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 inadequate for you to just connect a single solar panel so you definitely have to connect it in series to be able to achieve exactly what you want uh, to be able to get this guy kicking for you all right so this is exactly what you have to do to get the pwm banging and getting you a lot of energy through your system firing up your batteries ensuring that you're supplied with that real-time energy and you're having absolute fun so if you have a 12 volt system, match it closely uh, with a solar panel that gives you a voltage that is very close to that of 12 volts. So if you have a 24 volt system, you also have to do the same thing. Find a solar panel that gives you a close range voltage that is very close to that of the 24 volt system. And same goes for 48 volts. All right, so in that way, if you do that connection in that way, the PWM will function and get you very decent energy through your system. So if you haven't subscribed, come on now, what exactly are you waiting for? Now is the right time, okay? From today henceforth, nobody, and I mean nobody, is ever gonna tell you what's going on in and around the world of solar technology, okay? And don't forget, the more you subscribe, the more we can reach out to more people who also need this information, okay? We'd love you to be part of it. And as soon as you subscribe, you're going to be the very first to be notified once we have fresh and brand new videos and it happens here every single week. So don't forget to comment, don't forget to share and do not forget to like. So if there's a topic you want me to talk about, something that is really very tough for you, something that you've been finding very difficult to figure out, I can dedicate and make a full video, all right, to cover up for that. So if you have something that is really, really tough for you too, that is really forming some kind of a jigsaw puzzle for you, don't worry. Just make a comment below and I'll make a full video explaining what exactly you can do to get out of that hate. Thank you so much guys for being part of the video today. I appreciate it so much. God bless you. See you in the next one.